Welcome to Learn Why Crash series. In this episode, we are going to see how you can debug GC logs using Why Crash. In last video, we have seen about the GC logs, how to capture and what is the uh, current problem in analyzing the GC. So mainly it is overwhelming because of the huge size of the GC logs and it is not possible to parse manually because there are 50 plus GC log formats are available in the market. So why crash solve this problem? You have to just upload the GC log or you can automate that. Then rest will be taken care by the uh, why crash solution. When you upload the GC log, why crash will slice and dice the logs and it will display two different kinds of issues. One is the application issues and another one is the device issues. We are going to concentrate on more on application side. So in application issues, it will display the information about the memory leak, long pass, uh, GC throughput, and importantly, the recommendations. And also it displays the JVM stats, uh, key performance indicators, and more charts, graphs, and tables. In this demo, we are going to upload the GC log, and then we are going to analyze the uh, GC issues. So without further ado, let us jump into a quick demo. So this is my Y crash calendar dashboard, and here you will get the calendar view of your incidents. And to upload the GC log, just click on the upload incident in the left side menu and click on the individual upload tab and just fill out the uh, app name as say demo and the local host as the host IP and click on GC log uh, browse button here and upload your GC log by selecting your right file and then click on open and click on upload. Once you Click on upload, Ycras will uh, slice and dice the uh, GC log and then it will display this RCA report. So by default, it will display the application name, incident reported, uh, device name, host name. And then uh, if you have enough uh, details about the CPU or memory, it will display the right chart. And to download the PDF, you can use the download PDF link at the top right. So by default, Ycras is smart enough to identify the application issues and it will display each issue and uh, what recommendation you can take to fine tune the performance. And if you just keep scrolling, you can see uh, the uh, section called device issues. So right now there is no major device issue found. So that is why this section is blank. So each uh, issue will have the link uh, either to the uh, report or to the recommendation page. So now let us go to this particular uh, memory leak because this log is uh, stating that it is suffering from memory leak and also the uh, GC events because 160 plus GC events took more than five seconds, which is definitely not good. And also GC throughput is pretty uh, low, meaning 80% uh, uh, plus will be uh, doing the customer transactions and around 12.48% is doing the GC activity. So right now we are going to uh, see one by one. So to deep dive directly into the report, you can just click on the see the detail here on the application issues. So just to click on the link, it will automatically take you to the GC intelligent report. So here you can uh, download this report and also you can see the duration of the log and other details. And uh, it is displaying the memory leak. So this is a very important issue to uh, handle. So that is why it is giving priority to memory leak and it is clearly saying that it can cause the out of memory or JVM to freeze because there is something going on with respect to memory. And similarly long pass because 160 plus E events uh, took more than 5 seconds, definitely not good and throughput is pretty uh, low. So in the recommendation sections, uh, you have to go through each and uh, every recommendation so that uh, you can uh, fine tune the performance and again always test your uh, recommendations in the lower environment then push the changes to the production so that is the best practice we are suggesting and if you keep scrolling it will display the uh, charts graphs about the jvm memory size and key performance indicators so this section is pretty much important to understand the uh, gc throughput so here the gc throughput is 87.52 percentage meaning 87.52 percentage is uh, serving the customer transactions 
and remaining is spending on the GC activity. So you have to keep the GC activity pretty low as possible for the better performance. And this chart is displaying the uh, buckets for each uh, uh, second duration and then the number of events. So right now it is displaying a two second uh, duration, the range, for example, zero to two seconds, how many GCs happened? Totally there are 554 and the percentage is 76.73. In case if you want to uh, change, change the uh, range to say zero to one, just uh, enter one and click on change. Now you can see the bucket between zero to one is 552 GCs and the percentage is 76.45. So by doing this kind of analysis, it will be very helpful to understand the uh, GC throughput pattern. So this is the one of the key section uh, where you have to focus. And if you keep scrolling, this is pretty much uh, like a CPU of uh, your report. So this interactive graph will help you to understand the uh, GC uh, pattern. So here the uh, Y axis is the heap size and the X axis is the time. And this graph is uh, interactive. So meaning you can easily zoom in and zoom out. If you want to zoom into the particular uh, range, you just uh, select the range and then just release your mouse. It will automatically zoom in. And if you want to uh, reset the uh, view, you can just click on the uh, reset. So now let us understand the uh, each uh, uh, GC event. If you just uh, hover your mouse over the uh, square or rectangle, it will display what type of event happened and what is the heap size and the timestamp. For example, let us uh, try to understand this section. So just to select the range and if you just hover your mouse, so this is the uh, place where it happened the initial mark GC. And if you just uh, go to the uh, second uh, event, it's a cleanup GC and there is again mixed GC. So like this, you can understand the uh, event type. The red color triangle means it's a full GC. So this is where you have to uh, concentrate while analyzing the pattern. So now let us just select the range here and let us uh, try to understand uh, this uh, GC pattern. So again, uh, let me uh, zoom in. So here uh, at this point, there is a full GC and immediately the heap size got increased. And after a certain uh, uh, duration, again, there is a full GC. Again, there is an increase in the uh, heap size. Again, uh, full GC and so on. So this pattern is repeating uh, over the time. And if you see, during the uh, last uh, uh, few moments, there are continuously full GCs. So now let me just uh, zoom in here to understand this pattern. So clearly it is displaying the some uh, uh, sawtooth pattern. So basically it's increasing the heap size, full GC, and again increasing the heap size, uh, uh, again a full GC, again uh, initial mark GC, full GC, young GC. So a lot of events happening in pretty short period of time. So this is definitely not good. So something is going on with respect to memory, which needs to be taken care immediately. Otherwise, JVM will crash eventually. So this graph will help you to understand the pattern and you can fine tune by going through the uh, recommendations. Now let us keep scrolling. And here you can see the GC collection phase statistics, like a full GC, uh, what is the count, a young GC, what is the count, concurrent mark, initial mark, remark, and total GC time, average GC time, etc. So it will give you very clear uh, table view, which will help you to understand the uh, timings. And if you keep scrolling, you can see the G1 GC because this is the algorithm uh, this particular log is using and pause time, concurrent time, and uh, how many objects created, how many got promoted, average creation rate, etc. And uh, if you keep scrolling, you can see the other details. So by going through this, you can easily understand uh, where the problem is and how you can fix it by going through the recommendations. So it is not possible if you do it manually, particularly if the GC log is very huge and uh, again, depends on the format. So Ycrash will help you to slice and dice and it will automatically displays you the recommendations and where you have to concentrate for your fine tuning the performance. So there is no thumb rule to follow to fix the issues. So it depends on uh, uh, various factors, uh, what type of GC, your application, your code, uh, configuration. So a lot of uh, factors influence the uh, issues. But Ycrash is a good starting point uh, where you can uh, easily pinpoint the issues and you can save a lot of time instead of going through manually the uh, GC logs. I hope this video is pretty useful and uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.